So you've been anxiously waiting for your refund check. And so maybe you're checking your account every day or you're checking your mail, waiting for that check from the IRS or that payment from the IRS because you know you're about to get thousands of dollars. And yeah, sure, it could be really exciting, but I'm gonna tell you in this video why it might not be such a great thing to get a big refund. And this applies to most people, not all people. And I'll explain that as well. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how a refund works, why it might not be a good idea to have a big tax refund. I'm gonna bust some thoughts or myths regarding refunds and what people think and, and how they think and, and why it's kind of flawed logic. And also I'm gonna talk about refundable credits, which is something that is important to discern between whether or not a refund is actually good or bad. Uh, as I said before, a tax refund is not all bad, okay? Um, there are some situations where people will get a large tax refund uh, when their tax liability wasn't that great. So I'll go over that a little later in this video. And also I'll go over how you can fix your refund situation. If you've been consistently getting large refunds in the past or if you've been owing a lot of taxes in the past, uh, I'll show you how to handle that, all right? But first, let's talk about how a refund works. And in order to do that, let's jump over to the computer so I can show you on there. So here you see an example with a payroll and a salary amounts and taxes withheld. So as you know, if you work at a W-2 job, you have your federal and state taxes withheld from your paycheck every, every time you get paid. And what happens there is that your employer takes your taxes from your paycheck and pays the government for you. So that's what's happening there, okay? So we're gonna just talk about federal taxes. State taxes work essentially the same way. But for this example, I'm just gonna make everything very simple. We're not gonna use actual tax rates or anything. I'm just gonna use a straight 20% just to make things simple. So as you can see here, this person has an annual salary of $100,000. And let's say he had $20,000 of taxes withheld from that and paid to the IRS from his employer. So what happens when he files his tax return at the beginning of the following year? Let's see. So he's gonna report his salary of $100,000. He's gonna take a standard deduction of $24,000. So let's say this person is married and his wife doesn't work, okay? So they are married with one income. That's why they get a standard deduction of $24,000. So that brings his total income to $76,000, you know, instead of $100,000. Now you can already see 20% of $76,000 is gonna be much less than $100,000. So according to the tax return, this person owes $15,200 in taxes, but uh, the, his employer withheld $20,000 so what happens to the extra money? It gets refunded to the person of $4,800, okay? So one thing to keep in mind here is that refunds are not free money. They are your money that you gave to the government and then the government gave back to you, all right? Okay, so now that you know how a refund works, let's talk about some of the justifications that people use to basically justify why it's a good idea to get a large refund. So the first one I hear a lot is that it's, it's kind of like a bonus, like you're getting a bonus for yourself uh, at the beginning of the following year. And you know, that's not entirely true because this is, again, your money that you gave to somebody and then they just gave it back to you. So no, that's not like a bonus. Another justification I hear is that it ensures that I save money. If I got that money back every month, or if I got that extra money every month, I probably would spend it anyway. So this ensures that I save the money. Okay, well, let me ask you this. Once you get the money back as a refund, what the hell do you do with the money? Okay, do you spend it on something crazy or do you put it in a savings account or what do you do with the money? I understand that sometimes people need more extreme measures to help them save money. You know, like kind of out of sight, out of mind thing. But there are much better ways to do that because if you're, if you're using the IRS to help you save money, you're not making any money on that savings. So one thing you can do is have your employer direct deposits the excess money into a separate savings account. 
okay? Because if you have direct deposit, you can actually have that money, your income, your pay, deposited into multiple accounts. So that's one option. Another option is just to have it all direct deposited into your main checking account and have automatic transfers out to a brokerage account or a savings account or whatever it is automatically every month. So you don't even have to think about it. Those are some much better options because you would actually make some money, even a savings account, you know, like some bank, like Ally Bank, you at least make some money rather than making zero money, giving it to the IRS. And the last thing I hear people say is a lot is that they like to buy themselves a nice treat with their, with their tax refund money. You know, they'll go buy something new and fancy or some toy that they wanted for a while. And, you know, you just got to ask yourself, is that really the best use of your money? You know, and it's not, it's not my place to say that that's a waste of money because people have different values from each other. And some people might really value uh, enjoyment or joy from, from these things that they buy. So it's just a scenario to ask, is that really worth your money? And again, if it is, it's still better to put it in your own savings account or your own brokerage account and have it earn money while you save up for that thing that you're looking for. Okay, so now that we talked about some justification that people have, I'm gonna talk about one scenario where a big refund is a good thing for, for these people. Okay, so let's jump back onto the computer. All right, so I'm gonna talk about what's called a re refundable credit. A refundable credit is a credit that you get back as a refund, even if it's greater than your tax liability. And uh, this usually applies for more lower income people or lower to middle income people with a lot of kids or with children. Okay. So here in this very simple example, we have somebody making a $15,000 salary. Okay. And let's say their, their tax liability is $1,500, 10%. Now let's say they have uh, one child and they qualify for this earned income credit. Okay, now as, as you can see, the earned income credit is $3,500, but their tax liability is only $1,500. So because the earned in income credit is a refundable credit, this person will still get a refund of $2,000, even though their tax liability was only $1,500. So that is what a refundable credit is. And if you're in this situation, you know, where you, you have a child tax credit and you have a, an earned income credit or the American Opportunity Credit, those are three of the main refundable credits, then you don't have to feel like you need to adjust anything on your W-2 or on your W-4. You know, it's not that big of a deal as those people who are making more money and receiving a huge, huge refund, okay? So this is basically a refundable credit in a nutshell. So most tax credits are non-refundable, which means that it'll, it'll take your tax liability down to zero, but then it won't give you a refund, okay? It will carry any excess credit left over to the following year. So what do I mean by that? So let's change this to a non-refundable credit. So now you have a tax liability of 1500, a non-refundable credit of 3500 that's going to give you a refund zero because you know the refund the credit is greater than the tax liability so it eats away the entire tax liability okay that means there is a two thousand dollar carryover to the following year and in the following year you know if your tax liability increases then the credit that you carried over will you know, start to eat up that tax liability for the next year and so on and so forth. And it'll keep carrying forward until it's used up. So let's say you're not in a refundable credit situation. And let's say you do have either a huge refund at the end of the year, or you are owing a lot of taxes at the end of the year. So what can you really do about this? The, the main thing you can do is to adjust your W-4 with your employer. Now there used to be a version of the W-4 that would just have you put in a number between zero and 99. There's some calculation that you can, you can go through to come up with the number, but it's just like putting in this number that kind of determines what your tax withholding is. And in my opinion, it wasn't that great of a system because it's a lot of, it could be off, you know, there could be some guesswork there. Um, so there's a new W4, which I think is much better. And it uses your actual income numbers and your actual deductions that you expect. And it calculates your withholdings that way. 
that's the one one of the main things you can do to adjust your refund or your taxes due at the end of the year is to adjust your w-4 with your employer another thing you can do is use the irs tax withholding estimator tool that way you can see mid-year what's going to happen at the end of the year when you file your taxes it's a good way to kind of predict you know whether or not you're going to get a large refund or you're going to owe a lot and that's going to help you determine how much more withholding or how much less withholding you should be taking from your employer as of the middle of the year okay now if you use that tool and you go that route just be sure to actually change your withholding back at the beginning of the following year to make sure it's consistent for the entire year all right so that's all I got for today. Thanks for joining me. If you're new here, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with everything business and tax related. And also smash that like button and share this video with your friends who you may think can benefit from it. And leave me a comment below with any concerns, questions, or anything that you might have, and I'll do my best to get to them. All right, so take care for now, and I'll see you next time. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a sticker She picture perfect so I told her